The two of four models included more substantial changes, including an automated fire and explosion suppression system, an all-digital fire control system able to handle new ammunition types, an improved turret with flat titanium tungsten armor. The Leopard 2, a forest kinetic protection, is reasonable, with the turret cheeks near invulnerable to all. But the most powerful rounds, egg CL3143, and the upper front plate, capable of protecting against less powerful rounds, egg M735. However, besides these sections, the remainder of the vehicle is largely vulnerable to high-powered kinetic rounds. A note are the weak lower front plate and the gun mount both of which are reasonably visible targets, as well as the gunner's optics. The vehicle sports significantly better all-round chemical protection, with an upper hull and turret essentially immune to all, but the most powerful ATG ends frontally, with upwards of 800 mm worth of equivalent protection in places. Despite this, it's advisable to be wary of incoming ATGMs as a well-placed round may sneak past the heavily protected areas and some missiles such as those of the ABATS will slice straight through even the turret cheeks. As with most other MBTs, the 204 is particularly vulnerable from the sides and back. The Leopard 204 is reasonably survivable with some degree of crew spacing. However, from certain angles, the crew are placed in a straight line and successful penetration may impact three of the four crew members, resulting in a crew knockout. In addition, well-placed side shots may impact all three turret crew members. Ammunition is stored in the primary ammunition storage in the rear of the turret or in the secondary storage next to the driver. The primary rack provides crew protection through the use of blowout panels, however only has space for 15 rounds. When more than 16 rounds are taken to battle, ammunition will be stored in the significantly more vulnerable hull rack. The Leopard 2 of Force Protection proves acceptable for long-range combat, although it's still advised to remain in one location for any extended period of time to avoid opposing vehicles being able to hone their shots onto your weak spots. The 2 of Force Protection should not be relied upon in urban or other close-range environments. The Leopard 2 of 4 is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun, which has been developed by Rheinmetall and fires two types of ammunition, APS-DST and HEAT-MPT. The APS-SDST has an effective range of over 2,000 meters, and the HEAT-MPT has a high degree of effectiveness against both soft and hard targets. Both fin stabilized rounds have a semi-combustible cartridge case with a metal base stop, which is ejected into a box under the breech. The Leopard 2 of 4 carries a total of 42 rounds of ammunition, with 2727 stored to the left of the driver, 15 in the left side of the turret bustle, and separated from the fighting compartment by an electrically driven door. A 7.62mm coaxial machine gun is mounted to the left side of the main armor and one 7.62 mm machine gun is to the hatch of the loader. Two banks of four 76 mm smoke grenade dischargers are mounted to each side of the turret. The Leopard 2 of 4 is fitted with a computerized fire control, which has a maximum range of 10,000 meters with a measuring accuracy to within 20 meters at this range. The combined system allows the Leopard 2 of 4 to engage moving targets at ranges of up to 5,000 meters whilst itself being on the move over rough terrain with the latest modern ammunition. The hull of the Leopard 2 of 4 has spaced multi-layer armor and is divided into three compartments driver at the front, fighting in the center, and power pack at the rear. Some variants of the Leopard 2 of 4 are equipped with add-on armor to increase the protection of the crew against mines and improvised explosive devices. The driver is located at the front right side. The turret is mounted at the center of the hull with the commander and gunner on the right and the loader on the left. The commander is provided with a circular hatch cover that opens to the rear in periscopes for all-round observation. The loader is seated on the left side of the turret and has a single piece hatch cover that opens to the rear and a single day observation periscope. 
The Leopard 204 is motorized with an MTU MB873 diesel engine, which provides 1,103 kilowatts of engine output. The MTU MB873 diesel engine is a four-stroke 47.6 liters 12-cylinder multi-fuel exhaust turbocharged liquid cooled engine. The Leopard 2A can run at a maximum road speed of 72 kilometers with a maximum cruising range of 550 kilometers. The torsion bars suspension of Leopard 2A4 consists on each side of seven dual rubber tired road wheels with the idler at the front, the drive sprocket at the rear, and four track support rollers. The tank is able to negotiate a slope of up to 60% and a side slope to 30%. Standard equipment on the Leopard 2 of 4 includes a power pack for heating, crew compartment heater, a fire extinguishing system, electric bilge pumps, and an escape hatch in the hull floor behind the driver. The Leopard 2 of 4 is also equipped with an NVC overpressurization system, which provides up to 4 umbar 0. 0.004 Keats SIM2 over pressure inside the vehicle. The Lippard 2 of 4 can ford depth water of 4 meters maximum deep using a snorkel or 1.2 meters without any preparation and climb vertical obstacles over 1.1 meters. Standard space multi-layer armor, improved armor protection over the front turret and turret interior has been fitted with spa liners. The Lippard 2 of 4 is powered by an MTU Motorian UND TURBINEN Union FRIEDRICHSHAFBN GMBA MB873 Ka 501 engine, which produces a whopping 1,500 up 1,100 KO, resulting in a power to weight ratio of slightly over 27 amp per ton compared to the ratio of the early Abrams and identical to the T80U. As such, the Leopard 2 of 4 is quite mobile despite weighing over 55 tons, comfortably able to reach 72 kilometers on road, and well capable of keeping up with its competitors. This allows for an active, aggressive playstyle, using the Leopard's high speed and good acceleration characteristics to get into an early flanking position or take early cap points, though it is important to keep in mind that opposition forces might attempt the same. The Leopard 2 of 4 has a maximum reverse speed of 31 kilometers, which it reaches easily, allowing for a quick retreat in suboptimal situations. Evolution armor is modular and can be upgraded depending on the intensity of the conflict. The additional armor blocks consist of composites aluminum, titanium alloys, steel alloys, and ceramics, although exact performance is naturally classified. The armor covers the frontal half of the vehicle and most of the turret, the most exposed parts, another important, albeit optional, anti-mine, and in the form of extra bottom plating. 